A Jedi master turns to the dark side and then moves to a farm. A Disney Channel star receives a diagnosis and then decides to become a nurse. The Tanner's annoying neighbor interns at the United Nations. These are just a few of the surprisingly normal paths taken by former teen stars. Imagine this, you're in your cubicle feeling miserable. Your computer and phone are basically handcuffs when you feel trapped in your job. Then you start to daydream about ditching your 9 to 5 job for A-list fame. For Dylan Sprouse though, it was pretty much the complete opposite experience. Well, minus the 9 to 5 office job. He began acting with his twin brother Cole when they were just tykes. Their careers really took off when they starred on the Disney Channel sitcom The Sweet Life of Zack and Cody from 2005 to 2008 and its spin-off The Sweet Life on Deck from 2008 to 2011. Dylan eventually began to branch out by brewing his own mead, and in 2017 he opened All Wise Meadery in the Williamsburg neighborhood of Brooklyn. As he noted to Vanity Fair in 2018, I think that if you are an actor or you are an entertainer, and you don't invest money in something that is more stable than the commission job that is acting, then you are a fool. I know I don't want to be on television. We found real estate and built a business around the idea of rebirthing the world's oldest known alcoholic beverage. First, he urged viewers to stop watching his own show. Then he journeyed miles away from the spotlight. We're talking about Angus T. Jones, who played Jake Harper on the CBS sitcom Two and a Half Men from 2003 to 2015. During the later years of the series, the actor joined the Seventh-day Adventist Church, a Christian sect that recognizes Saturday as a day for rest and worship. As he pleaded in a 2012 video, if you watch Two and a Half Men, please stop watching Two and a Half Men. I'm on Two and a Half Men and I don't want to be on it. Please stop watching it. Please stop filling your head with filth. You might think that after that moment, Jones would end up delivering sermons on the regular, but it didn't quite work out that way. Instead, he partnered up with Sean Diddy Combs' son, Justin, and created a multimedia and event planning company called Tonight. As Jones revealed to Billboard in 2016, I really hadn't been imagining trying to pull off something like this because I feel like this is out of my league a lot of times. Two and a Half Men was the opportunity of a lifetime and everyone's always told me that, but I'm really actually understanding myself now. It showed me what it takes to put on a good show. From the Wonder Years to Yale, then to a New York City law firm. That's the journey that Josh Saviano has experienced. In his younger days, he played Paul Pfeiffer on the ABC sitcom from 1988 to 1993. He then became an Ivy League man after that, earning himself a degree in political science at Yale in 1998. He was later hired as a lawyer at Manhattan's Morrison Cohen Law Firm after getting his Doctor of Law degree at Yeshiva University. Saviano went on to co-found the Spotlight Advisory Group, which according to its LinkedIn page is an independent advisory firm that's designed exclusively for artists. Clearly, the power of reinvention is strong with this former child star. As he describes himself on his Twitter bio, Yesterday I was a child actor. Today I am a father, husband, and strategic advisor to influencers and brands. Tomorrow? As for his acting career, Saviano appeared in only one more show after The Wonder Years as he showed up on three episodes of Law & Order Special Victims Unit from 2014 to 2016 as, naturally enough, a lawyer. Save it for the judge. May I? Lisa Welchel was in her mid-twenties when the facts of life ended in 1988. She then became a stay-at-home mom after marrying her husband, Steve Cobble, that same year. She also would go on to homeschool their three children. That's a long way from playing Blair Warner, arguably one of the most popular TV characters of the 80s. In 2003, Welchel published a book called So You're Thinking About Homeschooling, thus proving just how fully immersed she was in educating her little ones. Welchel's marriage to Cobble eventually ended in divorce in 2012, and she went on to start a website called Mom Time, as well as become a life coach on top of that. She then returned to the spotlight in 2014 when she showed up in the TV movie For Better or For Worse. She's appeared in a handful of other made-for-TV films as well, and she was even a contestant on a season of Survivor in 2012, where she tied for second place. The 1982 film Fast Times at Ridgemont High brought fast fame to Phoebe Cates after she played the red bikini sporting Linda Barrett. She soon moved on to a host of other roles until 1994, at which point she stepped out of the spotlight entirely. 
She did later appear in 2001's The Anniversary Party, but as of 2022, that was her last on-screen acting job. In 1989, Kate's married fellow actor Kevin Kline, and she eventually became a stay-at-home mom to their two children. Then in 2005, she opened Blue Tree in New York City, a boutique that sells clothing, jewelry, accessories, and other unique items. Initially, her husband advised Kate's against opening the boutique. Kate's explained to CNBC in 2008 why she decided to take the plunge and steer clear from acting, saying, I knew that acting wasn't really an option for me. I wasn't driven to do it again. I knew I had a certain amount of hours in my day, and it didn't include going off on 15-hour shoot days. The store thing, it really just was on my mind. Being diagnosed with a serious condition and wanting to help others are just two of the reasons that Jennifer Stone transitioned from acting to nursing. If you watched the Disney Channel at all from 2007 to 2012, you probably remember her as Harper Finkel from Wizards of Waverly Place. One year after that show ended, she received a diagnosis that changed everything for her. As she wrote on her LinkedIn page, I decided I wanted to become a nurse when type 1 diabetes touched my life in 2013. From the moment I experienced the ramifications of autoimmune disorders on patients and those close to me, I knew I had to do something. I wanted to learn more about my disease, and I also wanted to make sure that nobody ever had to experience that when they were going through uncertainty. After volunteering as a nurse, Stone then attended the Glendale Community College School of Nursing beginning in 2019. She went on to complete a preceptorship at Providence St. Joseph Medical Center, Burbank, and on April 7, 2020, she revealed some major news as she wrote on Instagram, a very good friend of mine pointed out to me that today is World Health Day. It is also the day I went from a volunteer, then a student nurse, and now an RN resident. I just hope to live up to all of the amazing healthcare providers on the front lines now as I get ready to join them. By 2008, things seemed to be going superbly for Hayden Christensen. He had two Star Wars movies under his belt, and he was looking for a new place to live as he was considering buying a home in New York City but he ultimately opted for a different location as he moved north of Toronto, Canada, where he bought a farm and started taking care of the land himself. As he told the Toronto Star in 2008, It's a hobby, but I want to have the appearance of being a proper farmer. I'm trying to figure it out. It's all new to me, but I would eventually like it to be a fully operational farm with livestock and different crops. It's very much a departure for me. Christensen also called the farm his sanctuary and noted that he's been doing things like fixing up an old farmhouse and learning how to operate equipment. As it turns, his folks had a farm when he was a child, which he has fond memories of and wanted to replicate. I love it up there. It's a real escape for me and I just, I like that environment. Nikki Blonsky went from acting in Hairspray to using Hairspray on her clients. She first gained fame as excitable Baltimore High School student Tracy Turnblad, but then a few years later, she was working at a salon in her hometown of Great Neck, New York. After 2007's Hairspray, which was based on the Broadway musical that was in turn based on the 1988 John Waters movie, Blonsky starred on the ABC Family sitcom Huge in 2010, before it was canceled after one season. She tweeted about her new gig in 2011 as she revealed, it's true I'm working at Superstar Salon as a makeup artist and more. I'm proud to be working and helping pay bills, but I'll never lose sight of my dream. Just because I'm part-time working doesn't mean I'm going to give up on my dreams and don't give up on yours. I might book something big soon. Keep positive. Blonsky's optimism eventually paid off when she landed a part in the 2013 film The English Teacher alongside Julianne Moore and Greg Kinnear and then 2017's The Last Movie Star alongside Burt Reynolds. Full Circle, From Hollywood to Real Life and Back Again, is the name of Andrea Barber's 2019 memoir, and it perfectly describes what she's been through. She first gained fame in the 80s and 90s as annoying neighbor Kimmy Gibbler on the iconic ABC sitcom Full House. A few decades later, she revisited the character on the Netflix sequel series Fuller House, which ran from 2016 to 2020. While she's kept fans up to date via vlogs on her YouTube channel, Barber's kept herself busy. In between those two shows, Barber left entertainment for academia as she attended Whittier College in California and got an English degree. 
She then headed to the University of York in England before coming back to Whittier and taking a job as the assistant to the director of the school's international programs. She also spent some time interning at the United Nations. A lot of people are surprised to learn that I, uh, I'm a little smarter than, than Kimmy Gibbler <laughs> in real life. As Barber noted to The Hollywood Reporter in 2016, I left Hollywood, so no sadness about that whatsoever. I was very content to pursue other interests in my life. And I then had kids and was a stay-at-home mom for several years when my kids were babies and toddlers, and I found that very fulfilling as well. Right up until Full House creator Jeff Franklin called me a few years ago asking about reprising the role of Kimmy Gibbler, and that happened at a perfect time too. Barber has continued acting following the end of Fuller House as she's been playing the character of Principal Willingham on the Nickelodeon sitcom That Girl Lele. Remember Grandmaster B? If that name doesn't ring a bell, maybe you at least know Bud Bundy. Grandmaster B was his rapping alter ego during his time as the younger brother on the Fox sitcom Married with Children. Bud was played by David Faustino, and he and Grandmaster B have something in common. They're both ardent hip-hop fans. The former child star is now a DJ who's known for spinning rap tunes every week on Dash Radio. DJing on a digital radio station might not necessarily be considered the most regular of jobs, but it's certainly a long way away from his 10-year stint as the wisecracking Bud Bundy on Married with Children. Faustino has also been known to get the party started outside of the radio confines. In 2009, Club Planet reported that he was spinning records every Monday night at Beauty Bar in Los Angeles. Alas, it appears that he's not completely content with his current gig, as he admitted to LA Weekly in 2011. I love the fame, I love the attention, and I love the perks. So, I mean, yeah, I've made some pretty decent investments, so I feel comfortable financially. But is that enough? No, not really, because, you know, I like the attention and the fame. That's part of the whole package. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more Nicki Swift videos about your favorite stars are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.